Good morning, fellow privateers. Welcome to the Asian Preview and the North American Wrap for the last day of the week. We have a U.S. holiday on Monday. I'm probably going to be working tomorrow, but uh, you know, I think it's a, a it, it's one of those midday closes for me, unless the uh, shit's hitting the fan. So, anyhow, before we start talking about the currency market, and I think we've had it, you know, we've been on the right side this week, and I feel pretty good about that. Um, but before we get in the currencies, let's, let's talk about the Canadian marijuana stocks, because they are all the rage. It's a huge bubble. We've seen this movie many times. Um, this I'm not quite at the point where I was with cryptos in November, December of 2017 when I thought, you know, when I had my 78-year-old mother asking me about Bitcoin, that was a time to sell. So we were fortunate there. Um, uh, medical marijuana stocks or the, the marijuana stocks, I've got them here up on the screen. So Kronos, which... Uh, is this chart we're seeing here. Uh, Andrew left from uh, Citron Research put out a note saying it's, it's like a $3.50 stock. Um, I read it. I'm, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure it's three fifty, dollars but, you know, it could, it could go down. Now, one thing to keep in mind if you're investing in these, and I, I've only got a few up here that are fairly liquid and some have options. Uh, here's Tilray. Um, I mean, these charts are kind of a mess because they just gap up and down and whatever. I, I wouldn't even be able to tell you what I think about this stock. But bottom line is it's gone, it's up like 200 some percent from the IPO. Um, going back to Kronos, Kronos was, uh, people were speculating last week when, or was it earlier in the week, I think when Diageo, uh, said they were going to, going to get involved in the uh, marijuana space for beverages and um, edibles and everything else. Um, and I will do a separate video um, for everyone. Just will not be charts. It'll just be uh, helping your understanding of this space and how it, how it, you know, all the, all the different pieces of the marijuana space. Um, anyhow, so Kronos short seller said, sell it. They sold it, dropped 28%. Great. Whatever. They're volatile stocks. It was up like 100% in the past month. Tilray, same type of deal. IPO'd back in uh, July. Didn't do much. And then just kind of gaps higher. And who knows what this part. So again, technically, it's difficult. Weed, canopy growth is probably one of the more liquid stocks. This is the company that um, that uh, Constellation Brands invested in. And you can see the power of this move is like just ridiculous if I can find my pointer. Um, you know, it, it's had a parabolic run up and the whole, the, uh, Yeah, I can't find this. I haven't used trading view in a little bit. Um, anyhow, it's had a parabolic rise up. Things might be pausing a little bit. So what's happening in this space, and we'll talk about this in a longer form video, is you have beverage makers, soon to be pharmaceutical companies. You'll have uh, just big brand companies like consumer goods, like the Procter & Gamble's of the world. They're going to be looking to make some sort of either CBD or THC product that they can sell on the shelf. And we aren't that far away in the U.S. to be, uh, be uh, recreational legal over the age of 18 or 21. Um, you know, but we're, we've been speaking to a lot of people in the space. We've invested in a couple of these companies. Um, I don't have the tickers. There's one that just recently IPO'd. <clears throat> Excuse me one second. 
So you can see how these these stocks are done. This is a this is a, a definitely more liquid and and less volatile. Um, but if you look at some of these, like here's weed. Here, let me let's show you OG. OG, you know, again, these are all parabolic moves higher. Um, you know, which is concerning. But again, macro, longer term, we're we're talking about three to five years type investments. We're extremely bullish on this space. Here's our organogram. You know, these things can double, triple. There is some euphoria on the retail side, and uh, that's something we have to be aware of. But I think there's good opportunities in this space. Uh, let's pop over to the currencies. Um, everyone got massively bullish the euro dollar um, at the wrong price, which is pretty standard. And we'll look at the daily chart here. Almost an outside reversal day lower. A reversal day lower is what we like to call that. Did have a little bounce late in the day. Um, Dollar Swiss looks like an absolute piece of shit. I just cannot. I'm trying to get my head around like why is everyone, you know, buying Swiss francs right now? And, you know, this is on the daily. Get rid of that line. You know, but we took out, we talked about this. You know, we've been short this all week. We covered some yesterday. Um, I've got my options rolling off on Monday, you know, so I'm buying this area here. I mean, I have some support around 96.50 to 96.30, so I've got some bid it, bids in for that. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure what's going on with that. Uh, Dollar China is uh, rallying hard on the Trump comments about uh, $200 billion worth of tariffs. This should put pressure on the euro dollar and some of the other currencies like Aussie. When that breaks 72 cents, I think it's 65 in about three weeks. So, especially if the dollar on uh, the dollar is strong on balance. Dollar Turkey, crazy, going to take out seven, no problem. Dollar Rand, we got a few guys long this. We're taking out this high, without a doubt. Dollar Brazil, we are trying to buy it. They intervene again today, which helps. Um, but we're going to watch this tomorrow. And, you know, thinking about picking picking up some Dollar Brazil late in the day. Because um, I think that might be a good hedge against risk in the uh, over the weekend. Anyhow... Good luck, uh, have a great weekend, and we will continue to talk about these marijuana stocks because they are the ones that are trading. They're the ones that have, you know, 20% moves every day. Um, we will eventually start talking about areas that we should be buying or selling. So stay tuned on that. It's a work in progress, and uh, have a great weekend. Cheers. Cheers.